no new cars for the new MLAs with public money in Mizoram. This has been stated by the newly elected Chief Minister of the state, uh, Pu Laldohoma, in a press meet where he was announcing about the 12 priorities that the government of Mizoram will now be taking forward as they have the JPM has formed a government in Mizoram. A lot of hopes uh, people have on them. So, he has stated that the primary focus as he had earlier also stated time and again will be on the farmers, the four ingredients, turmeric, ginger, chilies and broomsticks will be bought in. The minimum price will be fixed for the farmers. Not just that, he stated that from now on, the farmers will have the choice to either sell it by themselves or to sell it to the government. While talking about the priorities, he stated that as the focus will be on the farmers upliftment in the state, it will also be on checking corruption in the state. He stated CBI will now be given access to inquire the graft cases in the state. He urged the MLAs, the relatives uh, and the NGOs also to cooperate in checking corruption in the state. He stated that earlier the CBI was not granted access to certain cases but now the graft cases will be inquired by CBI. They will be bought in. While talking about the priorities he also stated about forming a committee to monitor the uh, implementation of the developmental projects in the entire state and this committee will constitute of uh, members from the church, members from NGOs and political parties where they will be monitoring how the funds are being implemented uh, in the entire state. While talking about the 12 priorities, he mentioned very clearly that uh, as there was a tradition earlier that the new MLAs uh, got new cars uh, and now on, from now on he stated that uh, no new MLAs will be getting new cars, they will have to use the cars of their predecessors and here the entire motive is to um, use the less of uh, public money by the public representatives. In a very recent incident, we have also seen that Pu Laldo Homa have, uh, he has uh, returned the unused money which was uh, given by the public representatives who are now being elected as the MLAs of JPM. He has returned the unused money which was not used in the po during the polls. Uh, he has returned the monies to the uh, elected MLAs. So, this is a very one of a kind initiative that he has taken and people are applauding it definitely. They are um, actually uh, making high hopes for the government now and uh, they have already taken the oath. The government is already running and they have tried to show the 12 priorities. Now, the people are hoping that uh, this Im these are being implemented, these are being taken forward smoothly and uh, we very, we can say in a very transparent way so that uh, the priorities as stated by the chief minister are focused on the farmers get the, the um, we can say the farmers get the most priority and then the corruption in the state and along with that as he stated that to cut the cost of uh, any kind of money that has been uh, that that is that is public money. He stated that uh, no MLA or uh, no ministers will be enjoying more more of uh, luxuries uh, or more than what they are actually they they actually have access. So, that is what is coming in. Uh, he has stated that uh, no new cars will be now given to the new MLAs in the ZPM government that has been recently formed in a Mizoram state. Uh, the new MLAs will have to use the cars of their predecessors and the entire intention is to use the less of uh, public money and use it for their upliftment, to use it for the upliftment of the public.